Hello again. As you know, that's the uh, Conquer Tree in the East Cliff Car Park. And um, I pick up some conkers each year, see if I can bring them to sprout. Then I plant them out the back, open up a fridge this morning. The thing had come off one of the containers at the very back. There's a conker with a nice big sprout on it. So we'll get that planted at some point and I'll pop that in the video. As for the ones out the back, I've just been round to check them, see if there's anything worth filming. And the truth is they're still like twigs at the moment. They haven't come to life this year yet. But not to worry, they'll soon be blossoming out into little bushes almost. And then when the winter comes, they go back to singly little twigs. It's all good fun though. Right, so what are we doing today? Something uh, with a bit of a theme. We're doing railway posters. Come to Timmouth on the railway. Thanks to Geoffrey, who uh, sent me his little collection of them to use in the videos. So we'll be doing that later. It's going to pop into Mules Park first because we've heard there's been some vandalism up here. And there's the first signs there on the side there and our dog over there. I'm not going to read it out because it just glorifies them. Apparently they've done some damage up the top here. Let's see. Yep, there's some. Yes, wonderful use of paint. Great artistry indeed. Not. Right, let's crack on this way. The back of those signs have also been done according to the pictures I saw on Facebook. But I'm not going up that way today. Quick shot from up here. few people about, not too bad. And a few people on the beach, up towards Spray Point, which is where I'm just going briefly, not making a meal of it, just up to Spray Point and back. That was not a particularly happy train. There was a lady just off camera waving to him enthusiastically. Not so much as a toot. What a shame. A little bit of sunshine. That's nice. Just in case anyone was watching yesterday's video and thinking, oh, very nice, but where was the uh, second part of the Newton Abbott trip? Molding off until tomorrow, because it's supposed to be major rain. So next time it's big rain, we'll have part two. To be fair, it's not exactly enthralling, but um, it's interesting because I sort of came across almost like an abandoned Newton Abbott railway station. It was quite eerie. I was there for about half an hour and there was just nobody there, no trains. It's quite weird. Dude, hello! We. That's a nice happy train. Lovely. Right, heading back now to start doing these uh, railway posters from Jeffrey. As I say, not making too much of a meal of it today, but a few more trains than I thought we might have seen, which is nice. All good. Never get tired of this view. Lovely.
another one that's uh, green at the front, blue at the back like yesterday. Oh, there we go. Don't think we've got any more trains. But uh, gonna go and start doing these posters now. These Visit Timmouth by Rail posters sent in by Geoffrey. We did one the other day that was sent in by Trev, which was uh, Visit Timmouth and a picture of the nest and a very pretty lady with holding a big inflatable beach ball. We did that one and these are four more sort of in the same vein in the same same advertising campaign perhaps. I've taken the uh, lower path on the seafront seafront side because I knew that uh, floodgate at the top there was going to be closed and I wanted to get down on that ramp. Right, here we go. Now although all these uh, of the four are indeed pictures, drawings, um, you can still sort of work out roughly where things are supposed to be. And this is the first one. No dates on any of these, I'm afraid. But um, they're all from the same sort of era, give or take tuppence. So um, we're down here on the beach, in the main pick. You'll understand, there's an insert taken from the top of the nest. But down here for the main pick, where you can see uh, Spray Point and the cliffs in the background. Here you go, visit Timmouth. Right, so that was picture number one in our sequence of four. There we go. Let's trek along and get to the location of number two. Now, regular viewers will know that where that car park is over there used to be the Esplanade Hotel. Quite an imposing building. I'll do a shot of that in a day or so, just to jog your memories. But um, up on the top of the hotel, someone would have either taken a picture along the prom and the road, or uh, just sat up there and drawn it, painted it, I don't know. Picture number two, visit Timmouth. So there we go, that's from what was the hotel there. Looking down along, nest in the background. Lovely. Visit Timmouth. I'm heading along here and I can see that I think it's all closed off for works they're doing. So I'm going to have to cut up across onto the top part of the seafront by look at things. Here we go, as far as I can go. That sort of pounding thing or piling thing. It's doing whatever it is that's being covered up by the um, yellow, look like manhole covers, but they're just mats. That's where one of those mats was. The yellow mats, so they were covering up the uh, little uh, little thing in the middle. Here we go, the next uh, number three in the sequence. Visit Timmouth by train. Artist impression down on the beach there with the nest in the background. It's suggesting you should come to Timmouth and have a, a midnight swim with the moon at the end of the nest. There we go, here. And I kind of remember when the uh, nest used to be lit up like that. I'm not saying it's not lit at all these days, but I'll be honest, I haven't been down here for so long at night, I wouldn't know. But I do remember how it looks in that picture as being how it used to look when I was a lot younger. Now, pick number four. This would have been from the perspective of the top of the nest. And to be honest with you, it's my favourite of all four. It's the one that would inspire me to want to come and visit Timmouth by train. I think it's a lovely artwork. Almost hang that on your wall. Very 50s vibe about it. Without further ado, here you go. I gotta say that one was my favourite. Looking back at Timmouth. Certainly work out some recognisable areas and buildings. 
which was your favourite? Let me know. This is one of the bases for uh, while well, they're doing the work on the seafront up here by the lighthouse. Just going to take a peep up the, the top before we start heading back for my final thing from Jeffrey, which we'll deal with when we get there. Oh, quite a bit of the uh, wall is visible again. There's a tiny little bit less sand under there, but not, not the end of the world scenario. Ferry isn't running today for some reason. I saw an announcement on Facebook. Can't be the weather, must be personal reasons. See them both moored up over there. We just seen them by shoulder. Right, let's crack on. I have to be nosy. I did mention there was no ferry running. I didn't know why. Well, there's uh, fences up on the beach here. So let's go and see what it is that's going on that's preventing the ferry from running. Well, the answer is nothing at all. Those fences don't really block anyone from doing anything or going anywhere. Just, I suppose, from launching a lifeboat, maybe. But um, I'm not quite sure what that's about. Maybe they're doing repairs to the uh, bottom there. Not sure. Anyway, there's the back beach. Bertom NL. Val something it's called. I can see at the front, but I can't make out any more than that. Getting loaded up there at the docks. Industrial equipment, yay! Marina Court. MX5 Mark 3.5. That's the anniversary edition in the orange. I think it was a 30 year thing. Not exactly sure, but I know a little bit more about MX5 than I do about other cars. Simply because that's what I drive myself. Hey, hey, the secret's out. Talking about cars, gonna get mum to the uh, uh, chiropodist for her feet later on this afternoon. So that involves curling her up into a ball and stuffing her into the car. And people always say to her, how do you get in and out of that? And she replies, there's great difficulty. <laughs> Bless her. There's a den. Got a few more newspaper cuttings of events on the den to do in the upcoming videos. Obviously not going to do them today because today's theme is what Jeffrey sent me. But uh, yeah, so more, more stuff on the den to come. Now I've just dropped the wind blocker on so you can hear me. All I want you to do is just remember that that car park over there used to be the town hall. That will come into play in the, in the story I'm about to tell you in a minute. And as you can see up there, the uh, top of the, what do you call it? The art gallery, the scaffolding is beginning to come down. So they've obviously finished what they were doing. So we're just down here at the end of the road from where the uh, town hall was. That was bombed out in the war. Because I wanted to show you this mention here. Well, I've mentioned it before, but it will come into play. Great Reston Railway, air services. And that's quite correct. They used to have an air service to Tynmouth from um, up on Holden. Part of Great Western Railways, believe it or not, even though it was air. And um, I'm going to put up a couple of uh, shots now of the information. You can pause it and read it if you want. And what I found interesting about that was the idea that you could go from Tynmouth to Cardiff in a plane for three pounds. And if you wanted to return, it was five pounds. And the planes held six people and they offered a free bus service up to catch your, catch your plane. However, anyone that was going up to see you off and wasn't flying, wasn't allowed on the bus. Even though the buses were mostly empty because they did such few sort of trips at that huge price of three pounds back in 1933. 
Oh yes, I just realised when I started telling you about the uh, air travel, I kept saying, oh, remember the town hall was up there, that's important. And I forgot to mention why it was important. And the answer was because you couldn't buy your plane tickets from the railway station. Even though it was Great Western Railway, you had to buy them from the town hall. One of the other restrictions they had in place. Meanwhile, still standing. Onto Lidl's for bread and milk. There we go, just bread and milk. I've really behaved myself today. Haven't gone mad, brilliant. I enjoyed that walk. Always nice to have a theme to go with like the railway posters, like the swans the other day, like the doorish doubles I'm going to be doing at some point in the future. Nice to have a theme to hang things on. I enjoyed that anyway, hope you did too. Probably not so nice tomorrow, apparently it's supposed to be raining. But we'll deal with that when it comes to it. Hopefully it won't be too bad, I'll still get out. Take care, see you tomorrow. Bye!